pressure group Republic has sparked a major backlash as it announced plans to display more than a dozen posters around Britain as part of a crusade to end the monarchy. The organization calls for a democratically elected head of state and has so far crowdfunded more than £17,000 towards the stunt. The royal bashing agenda has been met with a furious response from a number of express.co.uk readers and many let their opinions known in the comments section of a previous story. One reader wrote, Our Queen is the best thing about our country and is respected worldwide. The worst thing. Anti-monarchists. A second added. So they want a president? What like Biden? Macron? Putin? I don't think so. Long live the Queen. A third added. These billboards don't speak for the majority of the country and they're wrong. More woke ideas no doubt. If people don't like this country and our monarchy then leave. Meanwhile, a fourth said. When the country is in trouble the monarchy provides a figurehead to unite around. I gave my oath to the Queen when I joined the Royal Air Force and it will last until my final breath. Republic has said 12 billboards are due to go up this week across major cities, including London, Manchester and Glasgow. One design features a picture of Buckingham Palace along with the words, secretive, divisive, undemocratic. Further billboards will appear in Cardiff, Swansea, and Bristol later in the year. Graham Smith, chief executive of Republic, is a lifelong campaigner and claims the country is now at a crossroads with the royal family. The Queen, 95, is the longest reigning British monarch and will celebrate her platinum jubilee next year. She ascended the throne in 1952, after the death of her dad George VI who reigned for more than 15 years. Prince Charles, 72, is next in line to the throne and the campaign group do not think it is right he should automatically take on the role. Mr. Smith said, The monarchy is wrong in principle, wrong in practice and it's bad for British politics. That's the message we want the country to hear. The Queen is the monarchy, the monarchy is the Queen. King Charles may inherit the throne, but he won't inherit the respect and deference enjoyed by his mother. We have been campaigning for the abolition of the monarchy for a long time but now we are at a crossroads. As the Queen's reign draws to an end, it is time to demand a say in who should be our head of state. Historians have said the monarchy is more secretive than MI5 and the CIA. It is more divisive now than ever, with a widening gap in levels of support between young and old. And clearly when we're being told we'll have no say in who our head of state is, the monarchy is undemocratic.